Before we get into the controller combo guide, let's first go over some controller settings and binds. As of the free to play update, the default control scheme for controller has been changed. The old default is still preferred by many and is now known as the warrior preset, which I will be using for this video. I suggest changing your switch weapon bind to click right stick because this makes switching weapons much easier and also unbinds lock on. The lock on feature restricts many combat capabilities and should not be used. You may want to increase your view sensitivity because the default feels a bit too slow for quickly spinning the camera around which you'll end up doing a lot in this game. You'll see some people with incredibly high sensitivity values like 120 and these players will often have extended height on their thumbsticks but for a regular stock controller about 60 horizontal and 50 vertical should be fine for most players so I'd recommend starting here and tweaking the values until it feels right for you. I also like to increase the dead zone as this game is very sensitive to stick movement, so something like 25% will stop the stick drift you may experience while looting or moving around. Attack aim assist is super important. This should be set to attack from stick direction and on weak. Attack from stick direction bases the direction of your attack on where you point your left stick. Attack from camera direction makes you always attack who your camera is pointed towards. So with attack from stick direction, we're able to face an enemy and attack away from them by using the left stick input. It also allows us to perform juggle combos much easier since we have precise control over which direction our attacks go. Next, I would advise turning grapple aim to switch. This is so you can more easily use the next feature, which is the grappling hook shoot setting that we will be changing to manual aim slash auto aim. Now when you use your grappling hook, you will see the prompt for two different types of grappling. Whenever an enemy is within the crosshair, using auto aim will grapple towards the enemy. But now we can also use manual aim, allowing us to grapple where our reticle shows regardless of the enemy in our sights. This gives us much more control over our grappling. We will also want to turn melee aim assist to aim assist only. This allows our aim assist to function without automatically moving our camera towards our target. I would also recommend turning counter composite buttons off and just using quick counter to parry as this setting can sometimes mess you up, making you parry when you didn't mean to. When first starting out with movement, I recommend you turn auto run off. This will help you control precise dodges since auto run is performed by holding down the dodge button and you can always turn auto run back on once you're more comfortable with Naraka's movement. Ceiling interaction must be turned on for your character to be able to grab onto ceilings. This is very important for movement. It's good to go ahead and turn on pickup limits while we're here. This setting restricts you from looting too much of any certain item off the ground, and I recommend just copying my values here. With that out of the way, let's see some combos with on-screen controller overlay for reference on input timings.
Make sure to check out the Valda meta series for more combos with each weapon. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one.